Good morning, guys. My uh, garden is just, you know, it's only the middle of July, so it really hasn't done great guns. I've been harvesting a little along the way. Um, so far, not enough to fill a canner, and you all know how much I love my dehydrator and dehydrated foods and powders. I went out and I harvested a small bucket of tomatoes, onion, okra, and some baby carrots. All of those are gonna go in the dehydrator. You've heard me say this before, dehydrated foods actually keep their nutrients better than any of the other uh, ways of preserving food. And in my opinion, it's a lot easier and it takes up a lot less storage space. I still like canning and I'm excited to finally get into full-fledged canning season, but for now it's just a lot of dehydrating. I dump my bucket into my sink, so there's a, you know, just a few onions, and basically what I'm doing with my onions is, and my carrots, I plant them very thick, and then I thin them as I go along. And um, then the okra, I don't have that many plants, so I dehydrate or freeze my okra. Then I've got a few tomatoes, these things are monsters this year, which is great. They're Romas, but they're splitting on the tops and still a little green. So I'm going to cut out the bad parts and go ahead and, you guessed it, tomato powder. I got all the vegetables washed, all cleaned up. Onions are peeled, okras washed, and the cap sliced off, and then the carrots. Now what I'm gonna do is I don't blanch my onions. A lot of people do. I'm gonna be chopping these with my um, Vidalia onion chopper. The okra I'm gonna slice and the carrots I'll dice. And then I will be blanching the okra and the carrots. Put them in boiling water for uh, five minutes and take them out and put them right in ice water. The onions, I'm just going to chop up. Then I took the tomatoes and I chunked them up, got the core out. Now, when I do it this way, I leave the skins on because I'm going to be making it into, you guessed it, tomato powder. So I do cook my tomatoes just enough. I just cook them till they're kind of warm and, and cooked up a little bit and I'll, ma I'll kind of smash them a little and then I'll run them in my uh, food processor and um, I'll show you that when I get there. Okay, I've got a pot of uh, water boiling here. These are my chopped carrots. Ooh, doggy. That's gonna go in there, I'm gonna put the lid on. And once it comes back up to a boil or simmer, I'm gonna let them simmer about five minutes. My tomatoes, I cooked those until they were soft. I'm gonna let them cool off before I put them in the food processor. My onions are chopped and they're gonna go directly right now onto um, the dehydrator tray. Just step over here. I went ahead and used one of my parchment papers. Now, you know, as the onions dehydrate, they're gonna, they will fall through. So you've gotta put something on them. And actually same with um, everything I'm doing today. They're, you won't be able to put them directly on the tray. I heard someone say that the reason, one reason that they um, blanch their onions is because they don't smell as much. You don't have the strong um, onion odor. I like it. Okay, got that one ready to go. Okay, I took my carrots out of the water. I'm not gonna ice them down, which I suppose is what you really should do. But I'm gonna put them on this dehydrator sheet. The reason for blanching, not only does it help um, retain all the nutrients but having them partially cooked, they rehydrate a whole lot easier. Anyway, that's what I found. Okay, this is going over, and let's go do the oak. Okay, I'm just reusing my carrot water because there's nothing wrong with it. And I've decided I'm going to blanch my okra whole. Anybody that's ever done anything with okra knows that it's... Yeah, 
I should call it slime, but it feels more like snot. So these I will blanch a little bit longer, probably closer to five to 10 minutes since they're whole and large okra. Then I'm gonna slice them after um, I get them blanched. And these I will put into ice water just because I have to be able to handle them. Okay, I've got my um, okra. It's in the ice water now, cooling. And like I said, I blanched it whole. Remember I told you it feels like snot. Keeps sliding out of my hands. But you know what? Dehydrated okra is makes a great snack, just as it is. Um, last week I dehydrated just a few pods and I put a little salt on them as I dehydrated them and they're great just to pop a couple in your mouth. And that's another reason I like to uh, cook them a little bit more before I dehydrate them. Now this time, after I get them on the sliced up and on the dehydrator tray, I'm gonna use a little bit of Papa Texas's spice. He shared this with me at Lola Palooza. I don't know if you've noticed, I got my Lola Palooza shirt on. So let me get this sliced up and on the dehydrator tray and I'll show you. Okay, I've got my okra sliced up and yes, it is slimy. And I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of Papa Texas's seasoning on it. And this is gonna make a great snack. Hope I didn't get too much because we're babies. We don't like a lot of heat. So, gonna go put this on the dehydrator. Next, we gotta get our tomatoes okay, here's ready. here's my cooked tomatoes. And like I said, I just cut out, I just chunked them up. I cut out the core and any bad spots, left the skins and all, seeds, everything. And it's gonna go here in my food processor. And once I get in in here, I'm gonna go ahead and make a puree. Okay, I've got my tomato puree done and I'm bringing it over because my table's uneven. So I wanna make sure that um, it doesn't spill out of the tray. And like it, I just did, and that was my own fault, wasn't an uneven table. But I'm going to get this puree. I'm probably I'm going to go ahead and spread it out over two. Look at this mess I'm making. Spread it out over two trays. Look at that. Guess I could have done it at the other place and made just big a bigger mess, huh? Oh well. All right, let me get it put on the second okay, one. Here we go. I've got onions, carrots, okra, and two trays of tomato puree. Put my top on. I have this, I love this dehydrator. I have a Nesco Professional. I'm gonna set it at 135 and I'll see you tomorrow. We'll see how it turns out. Okay guys, I've taken everything out of the dehydrator and it's all very dry and crispy. I already tasted a few of these. These are delicious. Papa, Papa Texas. I'm going to be using more of your seasoning on these. I like dried okra just as a snack. And I like fried okra, but it's probably not as healthy. Here's my carrots. They're very dry. They're ready to go into storage. And the onions, they were on the bottom rack and they're still, they're not crispy yet. So I'm gonna put these back in by themselves. And you see me do the pureed tomato. Let's see. Yeah, that's all, that's dry. So what, it, and you've seen me make powder before. So I'll be making this into tomato powder and adding it. Um, again, I love my tomato powders. All right, guys, thanks for joining me, and uh, I'll see you next time.